Hi everyone, welcome back to today's episode of What's the Buzz. I'm Amanda Vaughn, here with my co-host Ariana Bernard. Hi everyone, we've got an exciting show for you today, so stay with us. Well, Amanda, I thought my love for the Jonas Brothers would fade years ago, but Joe Jonas is making that a little bit difficult to do. Yeah, so the middle Jonas brother appeared in a guest underwear photo shoot about mm -hmm. a month ago. And of course, Jimmy Fallon had to bring out some of the pictures when Joe was on his show on Monday. Yes, and Joe even admitted to being a little confused as to why he chose certain poses, but that was not the highlight of Joe's appearance on The Tonight Show. Nope. So Jimmy surprised Joe with a pair of underwear for each of them to model off live on the show. But don't get too excited, ladies. They simply put them on over their clothes. Yes, it's too good. And if you missed it, you can take a look right now. Oh my gosh, I still laugh every time I see it. I love Jimmy Fallon, I love Joe Jonas. Perfect combination. It's literally too funny. I mean, I, I think I've watched it maybe like six or seven times now, but it's counting. Uh, but we also spoke to students around campus to see who they thought modeled the underwear better. Take a look. All right, Mia, so you just watched the Jimmy Fallon episode where Joe Jonas and him kind of had a modeling competition. Who do you think modeled it better and why? Um, I think Jimmy Fallon did a better job modeling. He was really showing some booty like this. Okay. And I really like the classic white underwear. <laughs> awesome. Um, I totally think Jimmy Fallon won. Um, I just, I think he's a lot funnier and he had the whole like, you know, yeah, pose thing going on. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy Fallon for sure. Hands down. Hands down Jimmy Fallon. What's your reasoning? Uh, he's hot. <laughs> and hilarious. <laughs> All right, you guys heard it. I'm gonna go with Jimmy Fallon actually. I think he modeled it amazingly, Okay. but uh, the why, I don't know, it's his hair. I think his hair really contrasts nice with underwear, honestly. All right, good answer. All right, Amanda, I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of the Netflix show Stranger Things. So I got a little creeped out during the first season and haven't quite finished it, but it was good when I watched it. Uh, it makes sense. It's a little scary. I yeah. You. I mean, I'm a crybaby, so <laughs> it's fine. But um, the show released their season two promo during the Super Bowl on Sunday, and it's already taking over the internet. Yes, it is. But something even better than the promo itself, and I know you're kind of wondering, how can you beat the promo? Well, the kid stars of the show were actually recorded when they were first seeing the promo for the first time, and it's awesome. Yeah, I have to admit, it was pretty adorable. I love that cast, all of their appearances they've made on my they're carpet. So great. Like, since becoming famous, they're just so adorable, and they make me want to be a kid again. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely have a similar reaction, maybe even more hype and excitement in mind if I was in their shoes. I can't imagine. It must be so fun to be a kid TV star and, like, see your new promo for season two. Yeah, I mean, that whole cast has just seemed so genuinely excited yeah. um, with they're the great thing cast. that they've achieved. So I'm really happy for them, and I'm excited to finish season one and then watch season Yeah, two. you need to. You need to get on that. Yeah. And, you know, before they come out with season three promo. Yeah. <laughs> well, she hasn't necessarily been like the biggest celebrity um, as of today, but she has a special place in my heart for my awkward middle school years. Um, <laughs> original American Idol winner Kelly Clarkson is making news again, but it's not for something that happened now. It's for something back in 2006. Right, and during her speech at the 2006 Grammys where she performed and took home two awards, she got a little bit emotional um, during her speech, but it was recently revealed in a podcast with Billboard's Pop Shop that her emotions stemmed from another reason besides her success from that night. Yeah, so the morning of the 2006 Grammys, Kelly was falsely told that she had cancer. Um, but when she went to the doctor the next day, they apologized because they accidentally mixed up her results with someone else who actually did have cancer. I honestly can't imagine what she might have gone through that day, but watching the video now, knowing what she knew at that time, I'm shocked at how well she even composed herself. Like, yes, she was emotional and cried, but that's something that normally 
normally people do when they win awards, you know? Yeah, and I mean, she was apologizing for being like crying and tearing up, and I would have been a mess if I was in her shoes. Definitely. So it gives me a whole new appreciation for her speech, and I even teared up a little bit re-watching that speech now, like knowing what was going through her mind and what yeah. state she was in during that. Very uh, brave of her, you know, to follow through, go to the Grammys, give her speech, and perform. Like, it's just incredible, you know? Yeah. So yeah. good for her. Um, thank you to everybody um, that um, has supported me this year, including my record label and um, my management. I love you, Jeff Evan Quatnitz. <laughs> and um, thank you to my date, Ashley Donovan, my first producer in my closet back home when I was a kid. Um, thank you to my mom. Thank you so much, mom. I'm sorry I'm crying again on national television. <laughs> but um, thank you to the fans. Um, thank you for everyone that worked on my record. Yeah, I teared up a little bit watching that again. But I mean, that's hopefully going to become one of those iconic Grammys moments of just really appreciating everything that was going on in Kelly Clarkson's life at that time. And mm -hmm. Since You've Been Gone is a very sentimental song for me, so I, this just makes it all that much more important. Yes, definitely. I'm very happy that she's healthy and doing well. Yeah. So that's all we have for you on today's What's the Buzz, but be sure to tune in next week for a whole new What's the Buzz. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out all of Lantern TV's other content on our YouTube page. Take care and have a great weekend.